Hey, so I just got done reading The Alchemist's Handbook by Frater Albertus. Frater Albertus is some dude who apparently was like a chemistry professor or something, uh, but he was actually also an alchemist. Now, uh, this book was published in 1974, and it really isn't what you might expect. You, you know, with a title like The Alchemist's Handbook, you expect more spiritual, more philosophical, but this is almost exclusively practical. This book is basically just a chemistry textbook for beginners, uh, but uh, herbs. It's all about herbs. Herbs and stones, really. Uh, taking the essences out of herbs and stones and combining them into a new form so that you can attain medicinal benefit from them. Uh, so that's really the entire point of that book. Um, now, it's not very big. As you can see, it's, it's quite thin, especially in comparison to the other books I've been reading. Um, there is a whole section on alchemical symbolism, uh, and there's also a section at the end which gets all uh, into the philosophy and the uh, poetry of alchemy. And it's actually quite beautiful. Now, one other thing about this book is that uh, he actually proposes that uh, chemistry is derived from alchemy. And logically, uh, given the alchemical process, that should mean that chemistry is more perfect than alchemy. However, because modern chemistry lacks all the spiritual and philosophical and symbolic uh, elements, uh, modern chemistry is inferior. That's the claim made by Frater Albertus, and that is a very bold claim, uh, if we're going to be honest. Um, now, it makes a lot more sense when it comes from him than when it comes from a leftist, and there are leftists who say shit like that, and it sounds really stupid when they say it. Uh, anyway, uh, that's about all. Thank you for watching. Peace.